All right, guys, the old iMac, we are using this as our main video streaming computer with the A10 Mini Pro, and it's just struggling. It's dropping Wi-Fi, so we're upgrading to the new Mac Mini M1, and we ordered 16 gig of RAM, and we've got some dual monitors. We're going to have one set up for the program material and one set up for the M1. So welcome in. Here we go. From the tech booth today, we are opening the new Mac Mini M1. And I'm gonna be showing you all the ports on the back real quick, I'm gonna open it up. I have these questions because you need a couple extra things if you wanna run dual monitors. We're gonna be doing this for our live stream computer running OBS and the A10 Mini Pro. So stick around and I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. Okay, my unboxing jumped forward, my phone stopped. Uh, but this is what I got out of the bag, out of the box. Here's the box, very pretty box as I was saying. And here's what it looks like when it comes in the box, just sitting right there. Uh, and then it has this black tape on it, sort of like this weird black tape, and uh, I think that's where all the ports are. So I'm going to pull this off, and then that is it. That's really what I wanted to talk about today is the ports, because I wanted to know what I was going to be able to do to run dual monitors. So a little reading, and I figured this out, that uh, we have HDMI for one monitor, and then the other monitor you can run off, off basically... Uh, well, I thought that the internet said that it had one of these, like a thunder, Thunderbolt port, but it doesn't. It has USB-C, so you can actually run USB-C to um, HDMI. So if you were to get an H, uh, USB-C to HDMI adapter similar to this off Amazon, then you could run your second monitor. So it has uh, one HDMI port. It has two USB, and I believe those probably are 3.0s. It has an internet port and a power cable and a little tiny power button. This is a fan port right here. And then underneath, I think it just has something you can sit it on. I guess I guess you would sit this like this. I mean, I guess you would sit it like that on the table. Makes sense? Yeah. So that's the very, very beginning, and those are all the ports. So to run dual monitors, I'm going to need HDMI into one of my monitors, and then I'm going to need a USB-C to... Um, HDMI. And actually, yeah, all we have are these ports. We have these Thunderbolt ports to HDMI. So we're going to have to get another port uh, cable. It's going to go USB-C to HDMI, and then, then that's where you can run your dual monitors. Run your internet there, USB, headphone jack, and that is it. So follow along. I'm going to set this up with dual monitors. It's got this nice little weird pad. I'm not sure what that is. But follow along on the channel because I'm going to set this all up. We're going to have two monitors sitting right here. We're going to run it into our ATM, ATM Mini Pro, and we're going to have two monitors. It's just a big mess right now, but we're going to get it happen. We're going to make it happen. It's going to happen. All right, you get a couple other things in the box. I don't know what this is. It was really not... Oh, it's just a little piece of paper. Ah, directions. You get directions. That's a miracle. Yeah, and it shows you everything you need to do. Also in the box comes this little cable, which is different than the uh, most most other Apple cables but that's it I mean you you've got a power cable which is different from what I've seen on their stuff very nice this is not like a cheap Lowe's power cable this is an Apple power cable Apple it's amazing all right here it is I got it set up let's turn it on all right this is it's turned on and we tested it out it worked great this first Sunday little time putting all of our programs on there, but uh, it actually, you know, does a great job. And this is all fired up and you can hear us live at the church at Spring Hill. And over the next couple weeks, I'll show you what we're doing, how we're actually using it with the A10 Mini, the light software, everything we're doing. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. If you like the channel, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, you won't miss anything. God bless you guys, good luck.